All right, let's graph some exponential functions using transformations. In this example, we have both a horizontal transformation and a vertical transformation as well. So when we get going on this, even though we want to find two to the x plus one with a minus three outside, what I would do is take this as three separate graphs. Um, basically start with a parent graph, the two to the x graph, identify a few key points. So we have the key points zero, one, two to the zero power is always equal to one, all right, anything to the zero power. And then if we plugged in a one for our x value, we get two to the first power, we're gonna be returned with the base for our y value. So two is gonna be the y value there. Um, our original graph here also has a horizontal asymptote at the x-axis, that's when y equals zero. We're gonna track that around if it gets shifted as well. So on our first one, I've elected to use the two to the x plus one graph first even though you could do the minus three first, but I'm just going to do this transformation to begin. So in this case, what's happened is we have a number attached directly to x because it's up in the exponent with the x. Um, so that's gonna be a horizontal shift, but horizontal shifts kind of work in a, the opposite direction you think they should. They're kind of counterintuitive. So adding one directly to x is actually gonna move everything to the left one unit. So I'm gonna track around these key points. We had a key point at zero, one. It gets moved to the left one unit. So that is going to put our key point at negative one, one. Just kind of listening it off to the side here. The other key point was at one, two. We're going to move that to the left one unit. So it's going to be at zero, two. Our horizontal asymptote has not shifted. I mean, you could say it shifted one to the left, but that's not going to affect the graph or where it's actually at. So hopefully this looks like the same graph just picked up, moved to the left one unit and set back down. All right, the other transformation we need to do in this case is we have that minus three. Now that minus three is attached to the entire function. So it's gonna be a vertical transformation. It's not attached directly to X. Vertical transformations work basically how we think they should. This is gonna move everything down three units. So again, we're gonna track around those key points and basically make sure that they land in the right place. The other thing we want to track around is our horizontal asymptote. It was at the x-axis at y equals zero. That's been moved down three units. So that should move down here to negative three. I'm going to indicate that with, with a horizontal dashed line going across here at negative three. And we can go ahead and say our horizontal asymptote is going to end up at negative three. We're also going to track around these key points. That we had a key point at negative one, one. That's been moved down three units. So one, two, three down. That's going to be a negative one, negative two. For a key point. And then the other one was at zero, two. It's been moved down one, two, three units. So it's going to be at zero, negative one. All right, from here, we basically just want to kind of sketch in the rest of the graph. Do your best on that, but be careful about the key points so we get those in the right place. That's the most important thing. This should look like the same as this graph, but move down three units. So we got everything in the right place. Now the domain on these are all exponentials, gonna be negative to positive infinity, meaning it's okay to plug in whatever we want for X. The range has, however, changed from the original. It looks like we get very close to this horizontal asymptote over on the left-hand side and keep going up forever on the right-hand side. So we'd say that it gets very close to negative three, but never quite gets there for a lower bound and goes up towards infinity for its upper bound. All right, let's look at one more of these before we move on to other stuff. All right, very similar problem. We have two to the X minus one this time with a plus three outside. So signs have changed a little bit, but very similar as far as problems go. Start with two to the X and its key points. Next thing I'm gonna do is let's apply that minus one. Again, attached directly to X, so that's gonna be a horizontal movement, but it kind of works the opposite direction you think it should. So this one's gonna move everything to the right one unit. So let's identify these key points and move those over to the right one. So we are at zero, one, move one to the right. Looks like we're at one, one. We are at one, two on the left graph. We're gonna move that to the right one. So that moves to two, two. Everything else also gets shifted and moved to the right slightly. All right, one more transformation to go on this, this plus three attached to the entire function. 
Entire function is gonna be a vertical transformation. This one's gonna work out, we think it should. It moves everything up three units. So again, track around the horizontal asymptote that was at the x-axis. That gets moved up one, two, three units. So it's gonna be at three. Indicate that with a dash line. And we can also go ahead and down here and say y equals three is gonna be our horizontal asymptote. But let's also track around these key points. We are at one, one. That moves up one, two, three units. So that's at one, four. And then we are at two, two. One, two, three units up. That's going to be at two, five. Everything else just kind of shifts up as well, but be careful of those key points. That's the most important thing as you're getting good graphs going here. All right, now the domain on all these negative to positive infinity. That hasn't changed. The range, however, has changed. That we're going to get very close to three as a lower bound, but we never quite get there. And it keeps going up to the right to positive infinity is up here for y values. All right, hope this helps out in graphing exponential functions utilizing transformations.